anymore. It's, it's, it's part of the raiment that's in the last day. And I'll tell you why. Because you don't find most modern day churches where you come into before service starts and see the people get down and pray. You don't find most churches, praise God, that will let the Holy Ghost do what He wants. Let Amen to God where we don't quench the Spirit. Where we let Him have control of the service. Amen. You don't find that in most churches. Most churches today has your program set out from 10.30 to 12 o'clock. They go by this, that, this, that. And I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with organizing. Don't get me wrong. But I think sometimes we organize too much. I think we try to organize Jesus too much. Mom. I think we try to tell Him what to do and then He's supposed to listen when it should be the other way around. And He tell us, Sister Reese, and we're the ones that need to be obedient to Him. Amen Mom. to God. Amen. Like those scriptures and psalms, we just every time we gather together, I don't care if we've got three people here or the place is packed, amen to God, we need to have the same consistency on the way we praise and worship God, That's amen to God, yeah. and be faithful to Him on the same level, amen. praise God. Because I tell you, He's faithful to us. I'm on. Praise God. I'm glad He don't say, well, on Tuesday nights I'm not going to show up there I'm on. because only maybe four or five is going to come. Yeah. And maybe I'll make my appearance every now and then, praise God, if I feel like it. Uh -oh. And that's the way we act. Come on, let it preach. Because I'll tell you, if we, amen to God, if He did to us what we do to Him, amen. It, it would be terrible. Of course, yeah. you would have complainers in. Well, I knew He wasn't going to do what I asked Him to do. You'll have those kind of busybodies and, and bedheads and whatever you call them, praise God. But praise God, tonight I've got a simple word. But it means a lot to us as believers. I'm because on. I tell you tonight, we've gotten to the place where we've forgotten the good things of God. Amen. I tell you, we've gotten to a place that where we're just ungrateful. We're like the children of Israel, praise I'm God. On. Hallelujah. God brought them out of the bondage of Pharaoh. Praise God. They got to the Red Sea, Sister Reese. They got up there and Moses was there. And they're like, well, we might as well just turn around and go back and serve Pharaoh. At least we'll have somewhere to stay. We'll have maybe food to eat, praise yeah. God. We won't be out here in this hot heat and the rain and all this stuff. And Moses said, stand still and uh -huh. see the salvation of God. Amen. See, we've got to wait upon the Lord, amen, yeah. to God. When God is ready to do something, He'll do it, praise God. We don't move God's hand. Hallelujah to God. Faith is what moves God, amen. Come on. See, Moses. Moses knew God was going to do something. And he said, stand still, see the salvation of God, and the Red Sea opened up. Come on. With our carnal minds, can you imagine seeing, praise God, the biggest river you've ever seen just open up and a dry path Come right on. down the center. Oh, glory. Tell me that's not a God. Amen, God. He cares about you. Praise Come God. On. See, he brought them out. He wasn't going to get their shoes muddy or their feet muddy. Come he was going to let them walk on dry ground. Yeah. Praise God. But we've become like the children of Israel. Once we get through, praise God, and God delivers us. Well, we go back to, okay, for a day or two, praise God, thank you, Jesus, amen to God, then we go back and do what we do. Come on. See, and it bothers me, too, that on 9-11, hallelujah to God, 2001, when the terrorists attacked, amen to God, and the, the, they hit the World Trade Center with the planes... Everybody got in church after yeah, yeah. that. Everybody started reading the Word. I'm oh, on. I tell you, they, they said, praise God, that Bible sold more in that first few months, praise God, than any time. People attended more services, praise God. There was more oh. names added on to the rows of churches, amen to God. Yeah. People that once were lost rededicated themselves back. And I thank God if they truly did. But I tell you, a lot of it was just for a few months, praise God. Oh. So all of it died down. And then it said, well, no more danger. Let's go back out here and live like hell, amen. Oh. amen. Amen. Don't shut me down, amen to God. And amen. that's the way we've become today. We've become so complacent, praise God, to where you better move when I say God, and praise God, then I'm going to live like a devil. Come on. And it just don't work that way, praise God. He wants more of us to praise Him. He wants more of our time. He don't want just five or ten minutes here and there. Uh -huh. he, he deserves more than that, amen to God. He's worth it. We ought to give Him 24 hours a day, amen, amen. to God. That's what He deserves, amen, amen to God. Amen. But He still takes it. Yeah. Because He loves us. Amen. Hallelujah. He shot out the whole world on my top. Hallelujah. Because He loves us, praise God, Thank with the love that we, praise God, until we get into Him, 
we'll never understand. Amen oh, to God. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. So if you have your Bibles tonight, the King James Bible, amen? Come on. Go with me to Luke chapter 17. And this is a very familiar passage of Scripture, amen to God. But this is a passage of Scripture that's overlooked quite a bit. Hallelujah to God. See, we like to read about all the miracles that Jesus did. We like to read about even when He run uh, the, uh, the, the people out of the temple for selling and stuff. Amen to God with the bullwhip. Boy, I tell you, that gets some folks wound up. Amen to God. But sometimes we, we overlook some of the smallest things, praise God, that are the, brings the biggest blessings, hallelujah, in the Word. I tell you. It doesn't, God doesn't have to, you have to have a whole lot to do a whole lot. Amen? God can take something small and make a mountain out of it. Amen to God. Go over to God. Of course, we do that too in the carnal. Of course, we take something small and we'll make a mountain out of a molehill, praise God, over nothing. And we cause so much grief, the snowball effect. And God is just like, if you would have just took all that energy you put into making all that worry and strife and problems and put it into serving Him or doing something or faith in Him, praise God, you could have did double that for the kingdom of heaven. Come on. Instead of giving the devil glory. Amen? Amen. Luke chapter 17, beginning in verse number 11. And if you're able to stand to your feet tonight for the reading of God's Word, just out of respect to the Lord, praise God, we can. If you're not, that's understandable. Praise God. Hallelujah. Some folks, their bodies just don't do like they used to anymore. Amen. Amen. But one day we're going to get a new body. Hallelujah to God. Amen. I tell you, when that trumpet sounds, glory to God, we're going to be changed. The Bible says that we should be like He is. Woo! Glory Hallelujah. to God. That gets me excited right there. Don't have no more aches or pains, no more gray hair, amen to God. Love. No more toothaches, amen to God. Nothing, praise God. Love. Hallelujah. We're going to be just like He. Oh, glory. <coughs> Hallelujah. Oh, Thank Hallelujah. you, Jesus. Praise your name. Hallelujah. Y'all forgive me tonight. I'm, I'm wound up in Him, so praise God. I'm wound up so tight I might pop out like a cork ball, amen to God. Can't help it, amen to God. I'm not going to apologize for it. It's just... Woo, the way I feel about it. Glory to your name, Jesus. I love you so much. Luke 17, beginning in verse 11. It came to pass, as he went to Jerusalem, that he passed through the midst of Samaria and Galilee. And as he entered into a certain village, there met him ten men that were lepers, which stood afar off. And they lifted up their voices and said, Jesus, have mercy on us. Thank you, Lord. And when he saw them, he said unto them, Go show yourselves unto the priests. And it came to pass, as they went, they were cleansed. If you notice here, praise God, it didn't say he healed them. Yeah. It said, he said, Go show yourselves to the priests. Come on. See, right there, he was wanting to see if they were going to be obedient to his word, amen to God. See, God, all he would have to do is just speak the word and you're healed or you're delivered from your bondage. But sometimes he wants to see if you just trust in his word, amen to God. He said, go show yourselves unto the priest. And it came to pass as they went, they were cleansed. And one of them, my Lord, how many did it say it was ten? Yeah. And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back and with a loud voice glorified God. Isn't that sad? Amen. One out of ten turned back to give him praise for his healing. Amen to God. Yeah. The other night, I tell you, ungrateful, hallelujah, they got what they wanted, amen to God, so they went on, amen to God. Come on. And it said he fell down on his face at his feet, giving him thanks, and he was a Samaritan. And Jesus answered and said, were there not ten cleansed, but where are the nine? There are not found that return to give glory to God, save this stranger. Hallelujah to God. Amen. Hallelujah to your name, Jesus. And he said unto him, Arise, go thy way. Thy faith has made thee whole. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. One man out of ten came back. Come on. A Samaritan. Yeah. An outcast. Amen. He couldn't go to the priest like the Jews could. <clears throat> they were, one preacher said that, I heard him say he was considered to be a, a half-breed. Yeah. And I don't say that in a disrespectful way, but the Samaritans of, of that day were just... They wasn't looked upon as good people. Amen. They would just get those people Outcast, away from us. Yeah. See, spiritually, that's the way we were in sin. 
Come on. Hallelujah. You guys see, we couldn't go before, amen, to God, God with the sin in our life. That's why He did what He did at the cross. Amen? Amen. He did that so He could bridge that gap so we could have that fellowship back, so we could have that communion with Him. Amen. Come on. Hallelujah. Can you know amen. what I'm talking about? Hallelujah to God. So we can have that communion again, that fellowship, that perfect fellowship with Him. Come on. Where He can speak to us and whisper to us and love us and we can do the same back to Him, praise God. Amen. There wasn't, hallelujah, a priest that we had to go through because, amen to God, the priest, amen, the great high priest Christ Jesus, amen to God, took care of it all. Amen. 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 It gets me amen. excited. But here was a Samaritan turned back and Come said, on. thank you. Yeah. Thank you for healing me. Yeah. Thank you for showing compassion and mercy on me. Being a Samaritan, you didn't have to do that, but Amen. you did. Amen. And Jesus said, was there not nine? Yeah. But there's just one. Come on. And that just goes to show you He would do it. Amen to God just for one. Come on. Hallelujah. Oh, just amen hallelujah. to God. Think about that a minute. He would have died oh, just for oh, only oh, me oh, or oh, you oh, and oh, through oh, the oh, only oh, ones. Oh, he would have did it because that's how much He cares for us. Amen. So I want to talk to you tonight about something, and y'all probably heard this, this uh, amen to God term before, and I want to use for a subject tonight, do we have spiritual amnesia? You said, what does that have to do with this? Because we've forgotten what God has promised He would do for us. Amen. We've forgotten the blessings, amen to God, the promises He's made to us. Come on. We've forgotten it. Amen yeah. to God. We've forgotten all that God said He would do if we just praise Him and thank Him and love Him, amen to God. Amen. So have we become, hallelujah to God, ones with amnesia? Do we have spiritual amnesia? Father, we come before you now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for this passage of Scripture we got to read, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the Samaritans coming back and praising you. Thank you, Lord, for all you've done for me and for each and every person here tonight, Lord, gathered in your name. Father, I pray you would forgive us. Have mercy upon us, Lord, where we haven't praised you and thanked you enough for all the things, the big things, the small things, dear God, every little thing. You said in all things, do it as unto you, Lord. Please forgive us, Lord, and help us, Lord, to be more thankful. To praise you more for the small, just for everything you do, Lord. For waking us up, Lord. For giving us each breath, Lord. The ability to see, to walk, to talk, to move, to breathe. Everything, dear God. Thank you for it. Oh, Thank you for the food we've received. The, the roof over our heads. The clothes in our bodies. The shoes in our feet. The vehicles we drive. Thank you, Lord, for the platforms you've given us to minister, dear God. Thank you for the jobs you give us. Thank you for all these things, Lord. But more importantly, thank you for giving us, hallelujah, salvation. That was paid for by what you did at the cross. Jesus, Jesus. Minister to those under the sound of my voice here and those out through the airwaves, Lord. For we ask it all in Jesus' precious Amen. name. And everybody say it with me. Amen. 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 And Amen. Do we have spiritual amnesia? I tell you, amnesia in, in the natural is something very serious, I tell you. It's a, it's a condition, praise God, where you lose your memory. Yeah. It's a condition to where you can't remember things like you did before. It says usually it occurs from the following. You may get a blow to the head that may cause it, a major trauma. They say Alzheimer's disease is a form it can cause it too. Drinking too much alcohol, taking too many pills, amen to God. Come on. Just careless living, amen to God, just not taking care of your body, hallelujah, get yourself physically hurt, can cause amnesia to where you will forget loved ones, friends, you will forget things. I recall a case reading in the Reader's Digest now four or five years back. A man, he was a believer, and he got into a car accident, and he hit his head on the stern wheel, just... The stern will call him the top part of his head. He was fine for a few days. They took him to the hospital and they, you know, checked him out and did everything. But he woke up one morning and he didn't know who he was. His wife said, you're my husband. I don't know you, he said to her. His kids, you're my daddy. I don't know you. Where am I at? Who am I? 
from that blunt blow to the head. So they did all the testing and everything on him. And he went, it said he went for about a year and a half before he could even get a little small clue on, he's my wife, or those are my kids, or I did this or did that. It said he didn't even remember the Word of God that he memorized. Come on. Now that's sad right there. Not that it's his fault. I'm not saying that, praise God. But what I'm saying is, though, it's bad to the point that the enemy, praise God, will come and try to get you where you can't remember God's Word. Amen? Amen. He can get it out from up here, but he can't get it out from here, praise God. Because that man said later on, amen, to God, in that article, it said that when he started remembering things about his wife, his wife would still read the Word of God to him. He's like, why is she doing this? Come on. Is she crazy? Amen to God. But things start coming back up. And I believe that's God. Amen to God. Oh. His word will perform. Amen to God. What he said to me. Amen to God. I'll tell you. It said that the word started coming back to his carnal mind. And he started remembering. Oh, this is what the Bible says. This is what it says. This is what the prophet oh. said. Praise God. And he started praising God for it. And it said he got a complete, total healing. Amen. The Word will bring healing to your body. Amen, amen. to God. The Word will bring healing to your mind. Amen to God. That's why it's so important to stay in God's Word. Amen to God. And I say this and everybody says it here. To stay in a King James Version Bible too. Because I tell you, reading off them other translations, it'll give you spiritual amnesia. Praise God. Because it'll get your mind all messed up. Amen to God. So that's why we, amen to God, tell you, read the King James Version Bible. So you're hearing the truth. Come on. Because the Word says, Amen to God, the truth will set you set free. You if you free. know amen. the truth, it will set you free. Hallelujah to God. The truth, Amen to God, it says in Psalms, it said, Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. See how powerful that word is, Amen to God? Come on. So when you get it in you, praise God, it's in there. Get it in the heart, praise God. It's good to have the head knowledge, but get it in here, praise God, to where it's coming from the heart, Amen. That's where it matters. Amen? Amen. With amnesia, amen to God, they, you forget things. Amen. You forget people. Hallelujah. Sometimes it's temporary and the memory returns slowly. But I know some of us, praise God, have experienced that. How many has ever, praise God, forgot to take the trash out? Amen. Now some of us will go through that little brief memory lapse. I don't know if it's more of getting older or if it's just on purpose, praise God. Well, honey, you need to take the trash out, praise God. And you walk on like, well, praise God, I didn't hear what they said. Hallelujah. Well, the trash is still sitting by the door. Did you? Oh, I forgot you want me to take it out. Yeah. Now, a lot of times it's just you don't want to do it because you're lazy, amen to God. But we get those times, praise God, where we forget, hallelujah. We forget things. You may forget. Oh. How many of you ever forgot to pay a bill? Amen. And you got a late fee. Amen. Then you called them up and said, listen, I forgot to pay it. Well, we hear that story amen. every day, amen to God. I've Amen. done that before. I forgot. Hallelujah. Sometimes I didn't have the money to pay them. I, got them. I ain't got the money to pay it. Praise God. Well, you're going to late fee. Well, praise God. Keep on adding on because if you ain't got it, you can't pay it. Amen. Oh, my God. Somebody shout. Come on. Hallelujah. We may forget an appointment. How many of you ever forgotten a doctor's appointment or something? <laughs> Maybe you're supposed to meet somebody and you forgot that. Amen. Amen. Sometimes we forget these things, praise God. But what I'm trying to tell you is, praise God, we need to be, praise God, as believers, hallelujah, always staying in God's Word, remembering the good things God has promised us, remembering where He's brought us from, amen. remembering where He's going to take us to, praise God. See, amen, God. He doesn't like to dwell in the past because a lot of the past has been hurts and damage and stuff's been done to us, but praise God. God likes to dwell, praise God, in the now with us, praise God. Oh. And He is our future, so praise God, it's okay. If we trust in Jesus, hallelujah, He's going to take care of us. Amen to God. Amen. That's why He says don't worry about these things down here. Don't look at the world situation. Love not the world, nor the things in it, praise God. But keep your eyes on Jesus, amen to God. Keep them fixed on the cross, amen to God. Keep up all that altar, amen, amen to God. I tell you, if you do that, hallelujah to God, you won't be drawn away by the things of this world. Amen? Come on. Amen. Hallelujah. That'll preach. Amen to God. Somebody help me. Praise amen. God. Hallelujah to God. I know this is deep. Praise God. But it's good. It's really good. I'm telling you. Amen to God. Praise and see, Lord. hallelujah. These ten lepers here. Praise God. One of them came back. The other nine, hallelujah, had something else important to do. I always like to say they were religious leaders and had to go vote on something. Amen to God. 
They got their healing. Well, praise God. Let's go vote on something. Come on. Hallelujah. Let's go kick somebody else out. Hallelujah. God, I've had problems with a certain individual about committees and stuff. And hallelujah, I ain't even going to go down that road. Lord Come on. Jesus, <clears throat> how I just pray for that person. Hallelujah. Amen. Telling me, hallelujah, well, I need to get on the committee board and do some voting. And I said, well, praise God. Hallelujah. If I get on the committee board, let the Holy Ghost have his way. Praise God. Everybody be voted out. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Because we need God back in everything. Amen. Amen. I'm tired of organized religion. Hallelujah. Me too. Praise God. Hallelujah. So we see right here in Luke chapter 17, I want to show you four things, praise God, here. The first thing, they forgot the Lord's past mercies, amen, to God. These lepers did. They got caught up in that healing. They got caught up in the moment, amen, to God. They were excited. I'm sure they were running and doing their thing and dancing and shouting and hollering and all that. Praise God. But then they forgot who gave them their healing. Amen to God. It was Jesus. Amen. Amen. It said one waited to see if the cure was real. Amen. Come on. One of the nine. One of them said, I want to see if it will last forever. Amen to God. Because I'm just not quite sure. Praise God. I mean, I feel it, but hallelujah. That's that person going to amen to God by feelings instead of by faith. Amen Come to on. God. One said, well, he said, I'll see Jesus later. Yeah. Praise God. So if something goes wrong, he'll take care of it later. Got those in the church today. One decided he never even had leprosy. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Glory to God. I tell you, God blesses us with things and amen to God. We act like we ain't never had it. We act like, well, praise God, that wasn't me. Amen to God. Come on. In all actuality, we all were sinners saved by grace. The Bible says, hey, hallelujah, all the sin that comes short of the glory of God. Amen. amen. He said, well, one of them said, well, he would have gotten it anyway, praise God, and we may get it back again. Come on. Hallelujah. One gave glory to the priest. Yeah. The priest did it, praise God. They did their thing. They said their routine, their ritual over us, amen to God. They went to the Catholic, amen to God, mass. Come on. And the priest did something for him. He absolved me of my sins. Yeah. One said, oh, well, Jesus didn't really do anything, praise God. It's just I'm on a natural high and it'll be over later. One said, any rabbi could have done this, praise God. I mean, it's not nothing new. One said, well, I've already improved much, amen to God. Come on. Hallelujah. That was that old Samaritan. Hallelujah. Woo, man, I feel the Holy Ghost. Glory. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I tell you, we've got to get that Samaritan mentality tonight. Come we've on. got to get past this amnesia on, amen to God, forgetting all that God's done for us and be like the Samaritan and go back and say, thank you. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Well, Brother Mike, I never, I ain't got a blessing like you did after four years ago. Well, let me tell you. I tell you, I, I'm glad what God has done for me, but I wouldn't want nobody to go through it. Amen. Because I tell you, what I did was a very stupid, careless act. Come on. Amen to God. And God was not pleased about that, but He still loved me and forgave me. Amen. Amen. But I tell you, He still loves me today, even at times when I complain about it. He still loves me. Come on. And He says, you know what? I've done so much for you, praise God. Look at that. Focus on that. Focus on where I'm taking you, amen to God. Focus on what's going to happen. Focus on, praise God, me using the situation to minister to people, amen to God. And I'll tell you, I could not believe it just in the last four years how many people has went through that. Christians, oh. Holy Ghost-filled believers, amen to God. Yeah. That you wouldn't think that, praise God. Because I remember sitting on that pew, praise God, in 1995 on a Wednesday night service telling a gentleman when there was a man there who said he tried to kill himself. I told that guy next to me, I said, I never would do that. Yeah. Boy, amen to God, God brings things back to your remembrance pretty quickly, amen? Come on. Hallelujah. So we've got to thank God for everything He's done for us, amen to God. We've got to praise God when we get down and feel broke, busted, and disgusted. Think back and on the victories He's given us. Amen to God. If you're going to dwell on something in the past, dwell on all the good that God has done for you. Amen. Amen. Where He brought you from. Well, praise God. It may not look like we have a lot here, but look at what God's done thus far. Praise God. Look at where He's brought everybody to. Praise God. And where He's taken us. Amen to God. I tell you, we don't see the results, praise God, over the radio. Praise Come God. On. Sometimes we don't get testimonies by email or by telephone call or by letter. Sometimes it gets discouraging because you look by amen to God's sight and not faith. But Come praise on. God, 
sin is going out touching people all over the world. Amen. That's why, praise God, we've got to continue to stand up. Take a stand for Voice of the Lord Radio and declare the message of the cross out Amen. to the lost and dying world. I'll tell you, I appreciate Brother Billy taking the stand for the things he stands for. And I'm going to use, for an example, Halloween. I appreciate him doing the whole month of October on teaching about how wrong it is to be Halloween practicing in that occultic day. Amen. How dressing up, amen, to God is wrong. We as Christians don't need to be taking part of that. Amen. 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 I appreciate the stand he takes for that. And that's hard, amen, to God, because there's not a lot of people who takes that stand. Come on. And he's been persecuted. He's told me things. Praise God, radio stations not wanting to air it because it's the same stuff. They said we need something different. Well, praise God, he's got to go by what the Holy Ghost tells him. Amen. And that's what, amen to God, what he needs to do. Praise God. And I'll tell you the same for anybody, praise God. If God has called you to do something, do Come what on. the Lord tells you to do. Amen. Don't do something to please man. Do what Jesus tells you to do. Amen. We're supposed to be obedient to his voice, amen to God. Come on. If he tells you to come in here and pray for 20 hours, pray. Come on. Amen. I'm tired of people getting on, folks, for doing it. Amen to God. When they've got a calling, praise God, and they want to do their calling, these highfalutin religious folks tell them, praise God, you can't do that because you haven't been to seminary. Come on. Well, I've been, praise God, on my knees before Jesus, amen to God, amen. and he gave me all the education that I need, amen to God, and he's still educating me on a daily basis. Come on. And if you don't like those apples, amen to God, send them down the river, praise God. Oh. Because I tell you today, praise God, we need to focus in on more of what God has told us to do and called us to do and be focusing on this great harvest because there's a harvest out there and the laborers are few. And they're getting amen. fewer by the day, by the week, by the month, by the year, praise God. Oh. And we need to just stand back up, those who still remain true to the calling of God, stand back up, praise God, continue to remember the good things of God, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And march and move forward for the kingdom of heaven. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Get past this whole spiritual amnesia thing, praise God. And be like that Samaritan was. And come yeah. back and thank him. Amen to God. Amen. Well, Brother Mike, we haven't done a whole lot. Praise God. We haven't seen thousands saved. But still thank him anyway. Come on. Praise God. I know when Brother Billy gets a report, he'll text me, praise God, that somebody wrote in yeah. saying this blessed them and that. But you know what? If it was for one person, praise yeah. God, it was worth it all. Amen. I, we preached that revival down there in Cloverport, down there at Brother Jesse's church. And hallelujah to God, there was, on that Friday night service, I'll tell you, the Spirit of God moved. It moved upon a Baptist preacher. And a Methodist preacher. Praise they were the sitting on the, the, there was two rows over the far row. And when I got there, I told Brother Jesse, I said, man, those two don't like me. They keep staring a hole through me. I could feel it. Amen. It was that religious spirit. Amen. God I was shouting over there just praising God. And they just like this. Just that old, that old denominational glare like. Praise the Lord. We wouldn't do that. But I'll tell you one thing, halfway through the service, let me tell you what God can do. Woo! Go over to God. I'll tell you, I was, amen to God, the Lord told me to give a testimony on Friday night, amen to God. See, Brother Jesse wanted me to do it Saturday morning, but the Lord had different plans, amen Come to on. God, and I had to be obedient. Praise God. Halfway through it, when I was telling about the doctor who was an atheist who gave her life to Jesus, that Baptist preacher jumped up and started dancing, amen to God. Praise I Lord. thought, whoa, go over to God. Brother Jesse went out amen. the spirit and got on two rows of people. Praise God. I'll tell you, God moved. Touched that Methodist preacher heart. He come up to me and he said, man, I tell you, I can feel the spirit moving. Oh, my goodness. Tell me a Methodist didn't say that. Well, glory to God. God can touch it too. Somebody shout glory. Glory. So I tell you one thing. Everything that we do for God, if it's just for one person, it's worth it all. Glory to God. All the labor, all the time we focus in on. <laughs> Glory to God. Now I've got y'all shouting right Amen. there. Amen. I'll tell you, the, when Brother Jesse went out on two rows of people, <laughs> hallelujah, i tell you, he went out, praise God, landed in Mamma and Papa's lap. Amen. That's who called it, praise God. We're like, get me. I appreciate him down there, but my goodness, when he went out, he went, praise God. He just, right, good. Woo! I mean, their place is about half this size. Amen. But it was a blessing, though, to see those two men. That preacher come up to me, that yeah. Baptist preacher, and he said, you know, he said, I, 
He said, man, I haven't shouted this much. I don't think I've shouted at all since I've been a believer this much. Yeah. I said, isn't it good to feel free? I said, take it back to your church with you, amen to God. I said, take Jesus back there and unload on him, amen to God, and watch yeah, what yeah. happens, hallelujah to God. I said, watch what happens. I said, just spoil it out all over, praise God. Amen. I said, you want me to come preach for you? He said, well, now, we got to... <laughs> <laughs> hallelujah to God. Well, you got to get your foot in the door, praise amen. God. Hallelujah. Everything we do is for the glory of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank God for that. But we're very quick, though, to ask God for things. We want things from God. Give me, Lord. Give me. Give me, give me, give me. And we're slow to speak the magic word, thank you. I'm on. The Bible says in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18, In everything give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Give thanks. There's a song that says, Give thanks. With a grateful heart, give thanks. To the Holy One, give thanks. Amen. Because He's given yeah. Jesus Christ His Son. Son yeah. Hallelujah to God. I tell you, if it's just for that reason, we should give thanks. Amen. Oh, I tell you. But He said in verse 16, in the same, in 1 Thessalonians 5, 16, rejoice evermore. Yeah. So every time we come together, we should be excited because if you want to stay in God's perfect will, give thanks. <laughs> Amen. Praise Him. Hallelujah. He even starts out the Lord's Prayer. He says, Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be Thy name. Yeah. Starts out with praising Him Amen. and worshiping Him. Hallowed be Thy name. Amen. Praising the King. Praising the Lord. Amen. I tell you, we've got to do that. We need to be thankful and grateful for the things God is doing for us. Amen to God. Oh, amen. But how many times, how many ever noticed, praise God, I'm, I, I'm, I'm not going to hold you too long, praise God, but I've got to get this out to you. How many ever noticed at Christmas time or birthdays and stuff, man, kids get wild, praise God. I'm going to use kids for an example. Kids get wild because they see the gifts wrapped up. Oh, man, they can't wait to tear in that thing. How many knows what I'm talking about? Yeah. And amen. how many seen adults do that too, amen? Amen. God. amen. Hallelujah to God. They see Lord. these things, praise God, and they get all excited and then when they get the gift, amen, to God. The generation we live in today, they don't even say thank you. Yeah. Amen. They don't even say Thank you for the gift you bought me. They said, give me, give me, give me. Amen. God. Give me, give me, give me. Yeah. It's mine. It's mine. Give me, give me. No thank you or nothing. I tell you, we live in a generation today that I, I believe when we were growing up, if we didn't say thank you for things that we were given, we got our tail handed to us. Amen to God. I don't mean to be so forward like that, but I'll tell you, it was like judge, jury, and executioner, praise God, if you didn't say thank you for things. If you got a second helping, Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Hallelujah to God. We gave respect to our parents. If we didn't, we got the belt. Amen to God. Or the boot. Amen to God. I remember my daddy telling me, if you don't like the way things are running in this house, go somewhere else and live. Come on. And I thank God for that because I appreciate it. Yeah, I look back and think, well, man, they were hard on me. But no, they were teaching me, praise God. They were getting me in line, praise God. Making me, praise God, to be one day to where I would accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior, amen to God. Come and on. give my life for Him, amen to God. Amen. I tell you, a, a, a thankless society is what we have today. we got to remember the blessings of God. What are they? Mercy. Grace. Hallelujah. Come on. Woo! Salvation, glory to God, forgiveness, peace, joy, amen to God. Hallelujah, it goes on and on, amen to God. David said it like this, Psalm 103, verse 2. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget all His benefits. Come on. What has He promised us, amen to God? Healing, forgiveness of sins, mercy, hallelujah, all these things. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Amen. And forget not his benefits. See, he's even telling us right there, don't get amnesia, praise God. Remember the good things of God because, hallelujah, he wants you to dwell on these things. Amen? Come on. Another symptom of spiritual amnesia is we've allowed past or present troubles to block out the love and mercy of God. Amen? Come on. It's the old, what have you done for me lately, God syndrome. Amen. Hallelujah. I want you to do more. Praise God. Well, if you do this for me, God, I'll do that. How many of you have ever heard somebody bargain with God? Amen. Usually they do it right before something bad is fixing to happen. Come on. How many of you have ever been near in a car wreck? I, now, I've done this before. Praise God. How many of you have ever been in a car wreck? Lord, if you get me through this, praise God, I'll do this and that. How many of you have ever done that? Come on. Honestly, I mean, praise God, we probably all have. Or have heard somebody done it. Come on. Hallelujah. There was a guy at work here the other day. Hallelujah. He wasn't paying attention to the road. I was told, 
by the guy, his passenger in there. He said, oh God, if you help me not wreck the truck and lose my job, I'll be faithful to you. We've got to be very careful what we say to God. Amen. Because see, God remembers those things. He remembers those vows and promises we make to Him. Amen? Amen. Come on. Hallelujah. Some see God as a spare tire God. That makes sense? Amen. They've forgotten for months until suddenly on the road of life, then they have a flat, and then they, oh, I need you, God, I need you. Amen. We've left Him out. We're like the nine lepers, and we've got what we got, and we went on and left Him. Come on. But we need to turn back and be like Jesus. Amen to God. Amen. I'll tell you. He's so good to us tonight. Hallelujah. Lift your hands right now and just thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for Praise God. Hallelujah. Another thing, praise God, we're forgetting the many promises He's made to us and the promises we've made to Him. Amen. Promises we made in secret to God. How many's ever made a promise to God in secret? Amen. Hallelujah. You told Him that you would serve Him and remain faithful to Him each and every day. You promised to pay your tithes and offerings. Amen to God. You promised. Amen to God. You made marriage vows before God. Amen. That you'd be faithful to your husband or wife. Amen. And you would go after no other. Hallelujah. Amen. You made a covenant with your brother or sister in the Lord that you would pray with them. That you would stand in the gap for them. Praise God. These are the things, praise God, all these promises, amen to God, we've amen. forgotten about. Yeah. And we've forgotten His promise. The Bible says in Psalm 116, 14, I will pay my vows unto the Lord now in the presence of all His people, amen. Come on. Things you've promised God, there's going to be a collection day. How many's heard the old, old saying, it's time to pay the piper? Yeah. He's going to come expecting His pay one day. Come on. I tell you, He loves us so. I tell you, we're, we're not, I tell you, I can't give you, I can't describe in the human vote, in human words how good He is. Amen? Amen. Stand to your feet with me, praise God tonight. <clears throat> Hallelujah. I tell you, we've got to do, I'm going to close out with these following scriptures. Amen to God. We've got to do like what Paul said. Amen to God. We've got to let the hurtful things that's happened to us in the past stay in the past. Come on. And we've got to focus and dwell on the goodness of God. He says in Philippians 3, verse 13 and 14, Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. I press towards the mark for the high pride, for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Yeah. Amen. I'll Amen. tell you, it's not a bad thing to look back over our lives, I'm not saying it's bad, but don't allow the devil to let you dwell on the wrong that you've done because that's where he beats us up at. Yeah. And I'll tell you, the devil, he wants you to forget all the promises, the words God's given you. Come on. And I'll tell you, what you need to do is go back and take those words and those promises and stand upon them. Praise Amen. God. Remind the Lord what he's given you. Hallelujah. Amen. I remember mom here about a, about a year or two back. She spoke a message in tongues, praise God, one night. And she gave the interpretation. I still got it written down somewhere in my Bible, praise God. But it was, praise God, that God's presence and His visitation was going to frequent here more than we've ever seen it. I'll tell you, I've seen it, praise God, and experienced Amen. it. How many else has seen that, praise God? Amen. God has held on to His Word, but He wants us to continue to hold on to those promises. Yeah. Praise God, because I tell you, all we've got in this last day is Jesus and each other. Yeah. Praise God. And when your brother or sister fails you, all you've got to run back to is Him. Amen. Like that leper, run back to Him and thank Him. Yeah. So let's tonight, praise God, let's, if we've developed amnesia in the Spirit, let's kind of get past it. Let's ask God to renew our minds and help us oh, to just God, praise Lord, Him and thank Lord, Him. Lord, and let's just not be thanking oh, Him for a holiday. Lord, let's just thank Lord, Him Lord, every day. Lord, Lord. For how good He is to us. Father, we thank You tonight. Oh God, We appreciate You, Lord. We love You. Continue, Lord, to help us just praise You and lift You up above all things. And to dwell in Your Word. Be with us, Lord, tonight as we depart, Lord. Guide us home safely. Lord, let something be said here, Lord, minister to somebody tonight. In Jesus' precious holy name. Amen and amen. I guess y'all want to sing and... We're going to take up the tithes and offerings, amen to God.